Hi, welcome to Yum's Cuisine Island Treasure Pot. If you enjoy different dishes from different cultures, ethnicities, and countries, and you would like to learn how to make Kalaloo Trinbago style, then continue watching. Please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. So let's jump right in to today's video. We are making Kalaloo Trinbago style. And as you can see here, I have all my ingredients already for this recipe. The ingredients will also be listed in the description box below. So I have here my pot. And to this, I'm going to add my garlic infused coconut oil. You can use any vegetable oil. I have here my onions and garlic, which I'm going to saute. My pimento. My celery, scythe, and shadow benny. I'm gonna have this all sorted together. And now to this, I'm gonna add my blue crab, one of the main ingredients in kalu. You can't substitute it for pigtail, salt beef, anything of your choice, really. But today we're keeping it traditional. So this time I'm gonna add some okra. And my pumpkin. Give that a mix. Don't mind my pot slipping. My dashi, you know, taro leaves. want to give that a stir and then you cover it and let it reduce in the amount or steam for a bit so as you can see here it has reduced in size or softened and to this now I'm gonna add some water this is so that the leaves can cook properly, the okra as well as the pumpkin and everything else in there. So I'm just going to cover it and I'm going to be right back. So it's right where I need it to be. So this now I'm going to add my coconut milk. One hot pepper. One tablespoon golden ray, you can use any salt butter of your choice. French made dove, you need it. Put it right in there. I'm gonna add some extra pimento for flavor, some black pepper, white pepper, and all purpose seasoning. Give that a stir. And salt to taste. Now you want to taste your food always so that you can know how to adjust it if it needs to be adjusted. So I'm just going to give this a taste to see if the salt is enough in here and it is right where it should be. So I'm just going to whisk this now. You can use a wooden whisk or an electric blender, hand blender, but I'm going to do it with this. I'm just going to finish whisking and then I'm going to show you guys the results. So here I have my results guys and trust me you want to try this recipe. It is extremely delicious. So thank you again. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you again. Bye.